Well, this show, or I guess these shows, you'd call it that, AEW Rampage Grand Slam. Technically two shows, one hour each back-to-back -back on September 23rd of 2022. It opens with the House of Black, or whatever's left of them, versus Sting and Darby Allen. It's the House no DQ of match. <laughs> House of Brody. I don't know. So uh, they're <laughs> having this great match, and Jericho's out there ranting about how men who use bats in pro wrestling have no honor. Because he's the champion of honor, would never use a bat. So Darby is taken now. There is extended Sting versus Two Guys segment, and I'm watching this, and like Sting's not botching anything, but he's been around for a while, and <laughs> he's had better cardio, and he's not taking a lot of bumps. And I'm thinking they're working a very smart match here, and then Sting goes up to the top rope, uh. and there are two tables on the floor, and the idea is that he will like, land on both tables. But he really only landed on one with just his head going through the other. Mm -hmm. I screamed. I believe the man is a grandfather. This is not necessary. Little did I, what was, did I know what was to come, by the way. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a grandfather or not, Vinny. When you're old enough to be a grandfather. That's the more, more of the point, yes. Yeah. I bring it up because I'm old enough technically to be a grandfather. That can't be right. Craig's, Craig's a grandfather. I am. Paul Fontaine's a, a grandfather. But Craig is much older than us. Well, he is. Fontaine's I'm not that much older, though. Two years and like two That's months. much older, Craig. Much oh older. Gosh, as, long, as, long as, uh, as long as I am not a grandfather, you are much older than I am. Come on. You know that as you get older, like each year is, is, is years later. No. As opposed to like when you're from going from two to three, nothing changes at all. You know what happened when I turned 50? I felt a lot like 49. 50. Uh, yeah, but you were all of a sudden 50. And by the way, that's years. not two years, brah. I just turned 47. That's four years. Excuse me? Is it now? Basically. See, they say Brian's the mind... round right. down around here. The mind is the first thing to go. Now, let's talk about the mind of Sting as he went through that table with his head. Mm. There was actually multiple people I thought got killed during this match. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, poor Julia Hart was supposed to go through oh. a table. The scariest thing I've ever seen on an AEW show. She completely missed. And uh, Sting was supposed to go through two tables. He went through one and a half. Well, he went through one, and his head almost went through the other, but the other didn't one break. And, one and eighth. And then, uh, like, Which they is did, worse than one. They did right. a spot with Darby, and, uh, and Darby's just bleeding, leaking blood. Gusher. And, oh, uh, yeah, because yeah, Brody and Darby went off the stage, yes. And, yeah, and I don't think anything happened to Brody. He was, like, the one guy that left unscathed. And Buddy. Well, Buddy didn't leave unscathed. Yeah. He just left. That's true. Yeah. Well, he, he, he left uh, painted by the end. You know, you know how in the cartoons when, when Wile E. Coyote would hit the side of the cliff and it would leave a coyote-sized hole? Yes. In the side of, Julia's backside went through the table, but that was it. And there was like an outline of her buttocks on the yeah. table. Yeah, yeah. And she crashed into the guardrail. My well, God. I can tell you all that uh, the word is that everybody is okay. Good. Everybody in this match that you thought died is okay. And before you say, well, of course they're going to say that, uh, not everyone on the show was okay. Yeah. But we can get into that later. I was watching this on Saturday morning. So a couple of days after it was actually recorded. So I assumed if there had actually been a fatality, word would have gotten out. But when Julia Hart overshot that table, barely touched it, and went splat on the floor in the guardrail, oh. I screamed at the top of my lungs. I did I'm too. Not, I am not joking when I say it's the scariest thing I've ever seen on an AEW show. And... I was sort of searching just to make sure I had not missed the news of her being like hosp hospitalized or something. But first thing I see is Brody King on Twitter, quote, I just want everyone to know that Julia Hart's hat made it out safely. Hmm. Thank you for your concern. That's good. And when someone commented about how dangerous this looked, he added, you're right. The brim of the hat could have been seriously bent. I'm glad I could put you at ease. It's Brody King's really a kind hearted guy. He's a kind-hearted guy. Much everyone does feel good about this. Now, I would not hats. say this was the scariest thing in AEW history because uh, I remember when Matt Hardy almost killed himself. There were a bunch Which of those. That was scary. There was a bunch of those. Yeah, bunch of them actually. You're right. Yeah. As I recall, that was scariest because like he almost killed himself and then kept going, and we were like, begging the match to stop. Yes, and that was not like good that. at all. This is scary because Julia Hart went flying through the air a little bit, sort of through a table, and then just stopped. We never saw her again. We got we got no update. I don't know if that's better or worse. But it comes down to, as noted, uh, uh, Brody and Darby go through a table off the stage, and Darby's head explodes. So they're both out of the match. So it's down to Buddy and Sting. And to be mentioned, Sting was also handcuffed at this point. It handcuffed his hands behind his back. 
So Buddy grabs a baseball bat and a chair, and he sits handcuffed Sting down in the chair, and Sting is cackling at him because Sting knows something Buddy doesn't know. And the lights go out, and who should appear but the great Muda? Yeah, the great Muda, who's on his retirement tour, by the way. It's a mm-hmm. long tour. He uh, He's coming down to the ring, and he don't move very fast. Took him a while. And uh, I will say that the production of this was an atrocity mm-hmm. because they kept cutting to Buddy standing there in the ring. And he had to stand there for <laughs> hours. And if you got to stand there for hours, cut to him one time and never again. Because every time they cut to him, it was more preposterous. It's like, brother, why are you still standing there? Why aren't you? What's going on? And they keep cutting back to Muda. And it's like, just show me Muda slothing his way down to the ring, snurking on down there. I'm sure there were some fans going crazy you could have found in that building. And uh, the thing with Muda is uh, he can't move at all, but he can fall really fast. Okay. And so Manny does that dragon screw, which literally is just you fall down really yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah. And uh, everyone marks out for it. And then, of course, he, he hits the spray. Yes. The mist. The poison mist. And uh, this leads to the finish here. This leads to Buddy bonking into Julia, who goes through the table and dies. And Sting breaks free of the handcuffs in an, almost an afterthought. <laughs> We're so excited about Muda. And he hits the death drop, and he gets the win. This was tremendous on every level, and I'm very relieved that nobody died. <laughs> All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected as a duplex yeah it's never been duplex granny but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years so we just I, yeah let yeah. it let it go yeah. so i thought once and for all i want to know which it is so it's duplex and not suplex right no a it's, suplex it's is a suplex <laughs> and not duplex oh okay <laughs> duplex is a housing development granny ulysses s grant battle we, we, we definitely read these skip forward no, a few pages no no okay no. all right all right go ahead we didn't do this one okay yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this okay, far. Okay, fine. Read another one. Yeah, Everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. (laughs) Well. (laughs) Go to to jail. You're guilty was the high spot of the week. You shut me off. No. You're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like Uh she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. You, you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear <laughs> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.